Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, first of all, just let me apologise. And I know you guys um, are incredibly patient. You don't re require apologies or anything like that. But it's just my own personal... Um, it's just the way I feel. I apologise for the lack of content in the last week or so. Two weeks, actually. Um, and especially after just announcing the Patreon channel. And I haven't been able to put my... Um, my tutorial up on there as of yet. My health took a nosedive and in, in all fairness, 90% um, of it was my own fault. It was my own doing, but it it, it caused um, quite a scare with me. Um, I've already spoke to uh, somebody about this. Um, and I, I, I know what I did was very, very foolish and I just, uh, you know... Basically, all it was last month. I was I was putting out a lot of content, and um, the channel was doing really, really well, and uh, and I was enjoying the way things were going. Um, we got a little bit of money from uh, like the Google AdSense, you know, the ads and stuff like that that come up. And I thought to myself, right, coming up to Christmas, if I can kind of keep this going, this momentum going, uh, this will be great. Uh, it'll help us out coming up to Christmas. And so as I was doing things like doing doing the artwork, doing the video edit and writing the reviews and editing the reviews and testing and all the other things that I do just to, to create one review, uh, my pain was getting worse and worse and worse. And so what I was doing was I was just taking medication to stave off the, the pain. And as a result, I was just taking too much medication and it, it just all collapsed in and around me um and i've learned my lesson i know now you know just sit back rest and take a break uh and not worry about anything else really uh so it is a lesson learned and uh like i said i i apologize for the the lack of content but anyway i'm i'm back now with a review of the the castle arts watercolor pencils now if you cast your mind back, I've reviewed the, the Castle Arts coloured pencils and their uh, sketch set, which comprised of like various different types of charcoals, uh, graphite pencils, uh, various tools that were in there to help you create graphite art uh, or charcoal art. And for both of those products, I was really impressed. Uh, Taking into consideration all the factors that surround this type of product, and one of the main factors really being the 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 price. Um, there are many many color pencil artists out there that would love to be able to get their hands on some of the real top high end colored pencils, but can't for financial reasons. And as a result of that, we have companies like Castle who come out and provide high quality products at a low cost and what that does is that helps these young color pencil artists or uh, adult color and book, book enthusiasts get into the feel of the, the the medium without shelling out lots of money because let's face it at the end of the day some some of you guys might just you know use color pencils for a while and drift off into a different medium from them uh, maybe watercolor pencils pastel pencils whatever and uh, so it, I've, I always suggest for people that are getting started, don't go immediately to the, the high-end products, unless you can afford it and, and it's something that you want to do, that's fine. But if, if you're struggling financially or anything, like that, don't break yourself to get there. Try pencils like this and it, it will give you a really good feel for what, what you need to do. So anyway, um, I got this 72 set from Castle um, and I tested them out. Now, the paper that I used was Strathmore 400 series uh, cold pressed watercolour paper for the artwork that I did. Um, I started off, do when I started off doing the artwork, I started off doing like a pink orchid um, and I was going fine into that a couple of days but then obviously my health took a big dip and I had to stop it. Uh, by the time I'd come back to it, I kind of like wasn't in, in it anymore. I just didn't feel it. And so I, I changed it. I, I kind of like got rid of that and um, done this this uh, autumn leaf. 
Now, one of the other reasons that I stopped it, uh, I'll get into later on into the review, but for now, we'll actually get into the pencils, uh, get into what they are about, and um, we'll take it from there. So, in terms of the sets that are available, unfortunately, Castle only have a 72 set. Now, they have it in two formats, so you can have it in the tin, or they also sell it in a wallet. Now, the wallets that they provide for both the watercolour pencils, the, the sketch set, and the coloured pencils are really good quality wallets. And I know that a lot of um, colour pencil artists, when they get a, a tin of pencils, they will immediately empty them out and put them into these wallets. Uh, for, for lots of different reasons, you know, ease of portability, carrying them around whenever you are sat down at your desk, they're there, you can just flip the leaves over and the pencils are easy, fairly easy to access. Uh, they're not going to roll around all over the place. There's lots of benefits between having these pencil case wallet type things and the ones that Castle provide are excellent. So there's that and there's very, very little difference in price. The prices I have over on the written review of the Art Gear Guide, if you want to go across and see it, and in many cases actually, to be fair, um, you can get the wallets, exact same pencils, exact same set size, a little bit cheaper than you can the tins. So it's something to bear in mind before you go out and buy it. Obviously, if you've got something different to put your pencils into, the wallet may not be for you. Maybe a waste of time getting it, in which case just get the tin. But it's, it's entirely up to yourself. Um, but like I say, there is only a 72 set. Now, this used to be the case for the Castle Arch Color Pencils. And then all of a sudden they went up to the 120 set. And I know that with watercolour pencils, it's, it's, it is different in terms of uh, the palette that you have. Because with watercolour pencils, it's very, very easy to mix and create other pigments, uh, tones and all the rest of it. Whereas with colour pencils, it's slightly different. So 120 set of colour pencils is really welcomed. However, having said that, it would be nice. I personally would like to see Castle come out with 120 set of the watercolour pencils. Only because I've used other 120 sets of watercolour pencils and it does help. Not everybody is really high up on, on colour theory and able to do mixing and all the rest of it. And so for people like that, uh, which I was myself at one point, the only reason why I'm a lot better at doing it now is just because of all the testing and researching and all the rest of it I've had to do to bring out reviews. But for a lot of people, um, you know, mixing colours and all the rest of it, it's not, it's not for them. They just want to be able to lift out a pencil that represents the colour that they want and just use it. Simple as. And so I think it would be nice for Castle to come out with 120 set. And that's actually, that's not a criticism of Castle. That's actually a compliment because I enjoyed the pencils so much. So let me open the set and we'll get into the looking at the pencils. So as you can see here, the first thing is... Uh, really good, the inside tin of the, the the watercolour pencils, you have a colour swatch. So it's already done for you. All the pigment names are there and the numbers to coincide with those pigments. So that's handy, if, especially if you're going to keep the tin, you're going to keep your pencils in the tin. Um, Castle also, now when I sat down with the CEO of Castle a while ago, uh, one of the things that I thought was really inspirational about the way they go about doing things is these little pamphlets that they have inside the tins of the various products they, they, they do. Uh, a lot of the art inside there is from their in-house artist. And so what they've done is they've created these kind of like very simple follow along tutorials inside these pamphlets, which you yourself can follow along with and, and you know, try and replicate. Um, Castle uh, encourage their customers to go onto their Facebook page or whatever and showcase the artwork that you've done with their products like many companies do but castle have just upped it a little bit by you know putting these pamphlets in there uh so as you can see this is the the first layer of colors um nice reds and uh pinks and then coming into this like a uh, nice orange then we're going into the light yellows i think maybe whenever i got this uh, i mix this up myself uh, and I've put it the wrong way. Normally the, the sets start with the white but when this tin came to me the, the colours were kind of like a little bit all over the place. Um, so so the first layer, that's the first layer of colours. There's a few flesh tones in there as well which are nice. 
Uh, flesh tones with watercolour pencils tend to be uh, a little bit hit and miss because once you put, uh, once you activate them with water, it kind of washes out the pigment. Uh, second layer here, we're going into the blues. Uh, beautiful greens again in this set. Uh, I'm always looking for the greens. Uh, and then a few more uh, magentas and lavenders there at the, the end of this. And then coming into the third, again, we've got some darker blues here. Uh, some coming in into some earth tones, cinnamons and stuff like that. Uh, Indian reds, uh, ochres, Van Dyke browns. Uh, and then into the, there's a couple of greys, not many. And then the, the black. Um, so in terms of like 120 set, they would be able to get a lot more greys into 120 set. And I, I personally enjoy using, uh, gray tones, like warm greys and cool greys. And my personal favorite gray is French gray. I, I love the, uh, the way the French greys, um, are. So I think with 120 set, they'd be able to mix that up. But other than that, I think the color selection that they have in the 72 set is really quite nice. Um, but I'm just being greedy, really, whenever I say about the, the 120 set. So taking a look at the actual pencil itself. So it's a hexagonal barrel and the core of the pencil is 3.4 millimeters and the actual barrel is um 7.4 millimeters now the barrel itself is just pure black it's like a matte black and then along one side of it we have the castle arts name and logo that is then followed by a silver band which separates the black barrel to the pigment identifier which is about an inch and a quarter long and on that particular side of the pencil it just says watercolor obviously to um represent that it's a watercolor pencil uh, on the opposite side then we have the pigment name and then on the on the black side of the barrel and then again on the uh, pigment identifier we have the number which corresponds to that particular pigment um, the pencil itself it does not i mean given the price is really inexpensive it does not feel like a cheap pencil it feels really nice in the hand well weighted and um when it comes to sharpening, now this was the only, um, before I get into the sharpening actually, um, you can see here the uh, the swatches that I have. Now I'm showing you the swatches in, in two different um, formats. So the first one is the pencils dry and then the second one is the, the pencils wet and activated. Now I get asked quite a lot about uh, can you use watercolour pencils just dry? And create artwork that way and you can there's nothing to stop you from doing it but you won't get the same effect that you will with ordinary conventional type colored pencils but it, there's nothing to it's art at the end of the day you can do whatever you want you just won't get the same um, results that you will do with color pencils but I always show these colors in their dry format and their activated format as well, just to give you an indication as to what these pencils are gonna look like in both, both formats. Now, back to the sharpening aspect of it. So, one of the reasons that I wasn't able to finish the um, uh, the first drawing that I'd done with this, or first painting that I'd done with these, was because a lot of the pinks that I had, the, the cores were shattered. And so when I was sharpening the pencil, the core was just going like, crumbling away and that happened with uh, four four pencils in total and then when I got to the doing the autumn leaf there was only one color that that happened to now unfortunately this is part and parcel of being a color pencil artist and it doesn't matter whether it's a cheap set of color pencils or whether it's an or sorry an inexpensive set of color pencils or whether it's a high-end set of colored pencils. I've reviewed many colored pencils and watercolor pencils and pastel pencils and they all occasionally will have a few pencils in there where the cores are shattered. I don't know the reasons behind it. There are a multitude of reasons that, that can cause that, you know, bad shipping, um, the issues with the, 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 the way the thing was made at the factory on that particular batch. There are many, many different factors, but what you mustn't think or 
well, it's entirely up to you how, how you take this information. Because I had five pencils in this set that had a little bit of issue with the core, that's not to say that that's the case with the entirety of Castle Arts watercolour pencils. It could have been down to the fact, in fact, actually, I think it was probably more down to the fact of something I've done because this tin, if you have a look, this tin is actually a hinged tin, but I've moved this about because I've had this set now for about a year, I think, maybe not not a year, actually, a few months, um, and the um, the hinge on this tin is busted, and I'm wondering if that is something I've done when I've been moving things around, trying to make space and all the rest of it, um, and if if it is that then the the issues that I had with these pencils are very much my own fault. Um, but like I say, it is what it is. You can't buy these open stock uh, and that primarily falls down to the cost for the entire set. Uh, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be I don't think it would be um, cost effective for the company to sell them open stock and I know that's not. Some people shy away from pencils that aren't sold open stock and that's all very well and good when you are doing commissions and you're looking for light fast pencils, etc. But for pencils that are low cost like this, I don't think it's really a, a, a huge issue. Anyway, um, let's, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to get a few colours out and uh, show you exactly kind of like in in real time okay so I've got a few colors here I'll zoom in in a second once I get a bit of color down on the paper otherwise it'll just zoom in and out and lose focus but I've got a few colors out here and so I'll show you how these pencils kind of like work in real time but if you want you can go across watch my speed drawing of the autumn leaf that I've done Watch that come to life or alternatively you can go across to the stills page where I have a few images of the um, artwork coming to life from start to finish. Again you can go across there, click on the image, zoom in on it, take a little look at how um, it, the, the pencils react on the paper and all the rest of it and just take a better look at it. So um, I've got the colours that I've picked here is this cadmium red which is kind of like a a nice rich dark cadmium red now I'm not putting too much pressure down here um, just to get enough pigment down and show you how it activates so that's a cadmium red uh, then I've got a cerulean blue light a nice nice blue there you can see there are a little bit of crumbling but that's you know when it comes to watercolor pencils crumbling is not an issue at all because at the end of the day that's all pigment as soon as you put water on it it's all just going to turn to watercolor paint uh, I've got a, a, a nice lemon yellow here and again I'm using the Strathmore 400 series uh, cold press watercolor paper uh, this is a block uh, then I've got this uh, beautiful leaf green again it's kind of like this really nice just gorgeous green I, I have to say straight off the bat listen I love watercolors I love watching watercolor uh, artists I think the the stuff that they can create is just phenomenal but it's a medium I find quite difficult to use because I don't have as much control over it. I, the reason why I like using uh, mixed media like markers and colour pencils together is because there's a lot of precision and I get a lot more control using those products. Uh, and this is the black as well. This is uh, it's actually an ivory black. So a lot of people would probably more say that this is more like a, a maybe a charcoal grey um, but anyway so so let's uh, activate these colors and we'll take a little look at how they play out so we'll do the cadmium red first and you can see there let me just zoom in a little bit 
you can see just how vibrant these pigments are. And that wasn't like very heavy pressure that I was putting down there or anything like that. And you can see as well, if you look closely there, I'll, I will take some photographs. You'll be able to see an image pop up at the end of this test. Um, there's no pencil strokes underneath that, which I always say is um, a good indication of a good quality pigment being used. So what I mean by that is you can see the pencil strokes here. Uh, once it's activated in lesser quality pigments you can still see the uh, a few pencil strokes underneath the the paint so this is the cerulean blue oh, brush just dried out a little bit there and um, you can see here when i was saying about these little bits of crumble not to worry about them they will just you know right away just disappear and uh turn into paint once they're activated uh, the next color is this l gorgeous lemon yellow. And you can see how how really thick and gorgeous these these pigments are. Bearing in mind, like I said, I didn't put a heavy application at all down, uh, and th now we're onto this uh, really nice leaf green. And then finally, we'll go to the um, ivory black, which is actually quite rich for a watercolor black um, as well. Quite opaque, actually. In fact, actually, a lot of these colors are quite opaque. Um, Obviously, the more water you add to it, the more opacity you're going to get from it. Now, I've said this many times before. This is not a Castle product, but this is a product nonetheless. If you are a watercolor pencil artist, I think this is a must-have. And I very rarely say that about any product. I always leave the products down to your own choice um, as to whether you uh, get them or, or, or not. And it's this little palette by Karen Dash. Basically, all you do is, if you're looking to mix colors, so it just sits on your hand like this. Let me zoom out just slightly. Just sits on your hand like this, like a painter's palette. Um, and then it allows you to mix your colors. So if I wanted a green, so I would get this blue. And you use, the, obviously, your wrist there as your strength this is a coarse platform and then on the underside there is like a, a smooth section which allows you to mix things like uh, uh, watercolor markers um, so there's this cerulean blue and then this lovely gorgeous lemon yellow so what you do is you'd mix your colors put them on the palette get the brush and mix them on the palette and I know you can do this on paper uh, but the, the problem about doing it on paper is once this dries uh, on the paper that's it it's dried uh, whereas on this palette when it dries you just wet it again and you you reactivate it but you can see there how it works. It, it, I've created this really nice, get all those little bits of pigment in there. Uh, I've created this really nice green uh, and I can use that and I can add to it if I wanted it darker, I can add a little bit more blue or a, a darker blue or whatever. Uh, I, th I think it's um, a, a product that if you enjoy using watercolor pencils, I think it's just a product that is going to enhance your um, experience with watercolor pencils it'll also expand your palette so if you've got a set of say 24 pencils uh, something like this is going to allow you to have countless numbers of different shades and all the rest of it that you you'll be able to achieve with it i just think it's an all-round fantastic little tool to have for uh watercolor products and it's not just pencils it's like you know uh 
watercolor crayons, anything that's watercolor based that's in a stick format or pencil format. This is a great, or marker format, like I say earlier on, for using on the back. Um, I just think it's a fantastic little product. It allows you to do with watercolor pencils if you do like wet on wet. So if you uh, if you wet your page like this and you try to come in with a pencil, um, it it'll it will give you that effect of fanning out and and stuff like that. But it can destroy the core of the pencil. It can create problems when you're sharpening. So, so using something like this is a much, much safer bet, much, much better idea than, than doing it that way. And that's it. Okay guys, that's my review of the uh, Castle Art watercolour pencils. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you've got any questions, maybe something I've missed out, um, by all means, just leave it in the comments section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Or if you don't want to do that, if you'd rather send me a question in private, by all means do that as well. Um, my email address is theartgearguide at gmail.com. You can find it on my website as well uh, and it'll be also in the links down below. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I try to I try to update those as much as I can. Um, obviously, what with my health over the last couple of weeks, there um, it's been a little bit quiet. But other than that, when I'm doing work in progress images and stuff like that, I'll always put them out on social media and let you know what's coming up with the channel uh, on those different platforms. Um, I really enjoyed using these Castle Art products. I think. What Castle are trying to do is fantastic in terms of, you know, giving you high quality products um, at a really low cost. Um, the, the, the pigment strength in these pencils is just phenomenal. You would not expect it uh, at the cost that these pencils come in at. I was really impressed with uh, lots of the colours in this 72 set when I was swatching them out. But like I said, think colors like the flesh tones and stuff like that. It doesn't matter what set you get. There are always going to be colors that when you activate them with water, they just look a little bit washed out and that's fine. Um, don't forget, I will have a link down below for the written review. You can go across and also you can watch the speed drawn or if you're not into that, go across and take a little look at the images that I've put up of the artwork that I've created. It's not the best artwork that I've done, but... It just gives you a little bit of an indication as to how the, the pigments work and how they fuse together and that, that type of thing. Um, it's, it's basically just a, a little demonstration of the pigments being used in an art form. Uh, um, it's not anything special or anything like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for all your wonderful comments. Uh, thank you so much as well for all the beautiful comments that you left on for Amelia's birthday as well. She, got, she was really, really impressed by that. Um, I, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all again in the next review. And, uh, you know, I am going to take it easy. But I, at the same time, I want to get lot, I've got lots of things I want to get done. And I'm going to try my very, very best to get them done, especially coming up before Christmas. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you all again next time, guys. Bye.